With today's video, we're going to take a look at the maintenance plan object and feature within Field Service Lightning. So here I can see that I've created a maintenance plan, the Salesforce Tower maintenance plan. So before we get and dive down into more of the particulars, I uh, just want to kind of explain field by field what we're looking at here. So for this, what this maintenance plan will do is it'll generate a number of work orders um, based upon the contract, the account, and the work type that those work orders will then be made up of. And then it'll create a batch from the start date. So that's October 1st, 2021 to December 31st, 2021. Now this could go out years, but here for the sake of this demo, we're just going to build out a couple work orders to generate based upon. And so under the work order generation, Really what this says is that the frequency, um, it's the amount of time per month that it's going to generate these work orders. So we set two months, we could do years, weeks, days. Here we're just going to stick with a, a moderate term for months. And then the generation time frame. So when we generate our work orders, it's going to generate work orders for the next three months, dependent again on this start and end date. Now, if I put this out farther past a year, it's only going to generate three at a time. And then when do we want to start the first work order in this next batch? So I'm going to start at 10 1 2021. And then to the left of that, maintenance start and maintenance end. So if I put this as 10 days and I put the date of the first batch as 10 1, what this is going to do is it's going to put the beginning date as um, about September 21st, 22nd, and then the end date as October 11th. So just to understand, it's really backing up from that amount of days before the first work order in the batch will be initiated, and then going forward 10 days to allow a good window there. Now under the maintenance plan generation, so I can auto generate work orders. So when we get to the end of this batch that we're gonna create, when you get to that last date, it'll auto generate work orders, or what we're gonna do instead is generate a new batch upon completion. So when we have completed the last work order in this batch, it will generate a new, um, a new batch of work orders. Under work order generation, so here, we have two options. We can create one work order per assets. So we're going to take a look at the maintenance plan assets in a little bit. But for this, what we're saying is um, no matter how many assets we have, it'll be one work order per asset. Or if we want to group them all together, um, one work order line item per asset with one parent work order containing all of those assets. So here we'll stick to one work order per asset since we're only looking at that only one asset with part of this maintenance plan. And then finally, the same kind of thing for service appointments. So we can create one service appointment per work order or one service appointment per work order line item. So you could have several resources assigned to a single work order line item within a work order. So we won't toggle on that yet and we'll click save. So from here, there's, there's two pieces we're gonna talk about. The first is maintenance assets. So the maintenance assets allows us to determine what asset will be um, maintained or will be serviced on site, and then what work type that this will inherit. Um, we can also tie it. So we're looking at the service contract line item, um, but that asset, the large turbine is also on that. And that's what this contract line item represents at the same time. And then the date of the first work order in the next batch um, we are looking forward 11-30-2021, but we can also bring this back to be more in sync with our maintenance plan. Click save. And so, so we've created the maintenance plan, we've created the maintenance asset, but how do I know, you know exactly what days this will be generated on? So what we'll do for that is create a work rule. So what we've done here is We've named the work rule, we've given it, we've tied it to the maintenance asset, we've tied it to a work type, 
We've said that this is going to be a number one priority for generation. And we're going to, again, start it on 10-1-2021. And this resource pattern, this is a new feature of the latest release of Salesforce, where before you would have an R rule to be able to generate this. But with this, they really brought this to the UI. So if you put what we're doing here, weeks at a frequency of two, then every two weeks is going to generate a work order um, on a Monday in the recurrence and never. Um, it's just going to go to the December date. We'll click save. So now that we've done all that, we're going to come back to the maintenance plan and we're going to click generate work orders. So if we give this a second, we'll get this five seconds. What this is going to do is it's going to generate those work orders um, based upon the present date and then that start date. So as you can see, there's nothing else we needed to do here. It already generated all of these work orders for us that will then be assigned to serve as resources once they go to the dispatcher and that dispatcher sends them out. Um, and when all of these are completed, then it will generate the new batch of work orders. Again, if we're going out into the next year or past this initial three months. So from beginning to end, this is how you manage your maintenance plans through field service like.